Okay, um, hi guys, I'm back. I was kind of having some weird trouble with this. You haven't missed out much. I should give this guy a gold coin, so we need to talk to him again. Fine, jeez, don't play along. Here's the first part of the solution. Master sealed a goddess in the cave. Get the goddess's magic potion to free me, and I will help you rescue your sister. Why, thank you, but uh, how do I get it? Fine, okay. jeez, don't play along. Here's the <laughs> hey, don't you walk away from me! Moonplate. No, don't sing a song in Japanese, Paige. Getting just tempted to uh, sing uh, Moon Pride, which is the new opening to the Sailor Moon thing. Uh, without the words, I know I'm going to screw up. <laughs> so talking myself out of it, while you guys are like, huh? Right, up there's the star. Ah, oh, there's the clovery bit. There's the moon. <laughs> Damn it, moon, moon. <laughs> um. So what are we missing? We're missing that kind of. But oh, it's a wizard bunny. That's adorable. And I swear I, I swear we have one of those in real life. Well, can't. Oh, there it is. So I can't see it. YOLO. Awesome. Yeah, I'm getting there. Save me, Hansel. I don't want to be eaten by the witch. Don't worry, Gretel. Ugh, Spider-Man. That's Spider-Man. Oh, that breaks it. Moon essence. Tastes remarkably like vanilla. Use it in cake. Right here. I'm free! I'm free! A free wheeling imp! Just for that, and just this once, I'll keep my promise. Oh, hooray. Right, now what are you going to do? In the now unguarded kitchen is a recipe book with an eternal sleeping potion. Pour it into X Master's wine, and she'll never wake up. Right, that sounds a little creepy. I spider lair. There's something there. Something in the forest, and there's something else. Suddenly, all the things happening at once. Oh, there's a key. Ah, the poor gingerbread man. They got him in the end. What's this? Sugar. Oh, a small jar. The kitchen table looks like it's been used. Just been baking a key. Um, to create an eternal sleep potion requires a golden branch, silver web, and a moon flower mixed together. Okay, I already clicked on that. Anything else I can get in here? Okay, that we can use that mortal and pestle to break things up. Else. Oh, okay, that's flashing. Who were uh, misses? Okay, let's try to find everything. looks like a little doll thing. That is kind of weird and strange. It's so weird. Oh my god. What is going on? Um, ah, oh, there we go. Then there's... Oh. Hello, Jenna. Ah, there's the thing. Also doing this without my glasses on, so I'm getting a bit of a headache. My glasses are... where did I put them yesterday? Oh dear. No, they're not on my... they're not on my head. I'm not that big an idiot. Um, 
I've lost my train of thought. Ah, oh, there we go. There's a thing. So two more bits left. And they are both kind of... Ah, oh, there's one. I'm not seeing that silver stuff. That's the last bit left. So we can... That blended in almost perfectly. Well done. I'm not quite sure what the mirror is going to do. I suppose it will catch the moonlight. An iron axe. Let's kill the spider with it. Oh, it's going to have a lady on it. Because why not? All axes need women on it. Although, to me an axe always seems like more of a masculine thing, because you've got like the bearded axe and stuffs. That is not part of it, is that? Yes, yes. That too. So now we're just... aha! Now we're just missing that bit there. Which could be anywhere. Ah! It was there! We found it! That looks like it's missing a bit. But then again, he's, he's a small kid. You can't expect him to wield a massive axe. Right. Got to go back to the kitchen. For whatever reason. Can I not? On a tree, it's made entirely of gold. It's a different tree entirely. Wait. I'm in the kitchen. What do I need to do now? Potions. Guessing clicking on this. Delicate flowers grow inside dark caves. It blooms instantly when bathed in bright moonlight. That wasn't there before. Might need a bit of a hint here. There's nothing for me to. Oh, I see. This is... Hang on. Get the eternal sleeping potion and drug the witch. So it says, uh, solidifies contact with a magnetic object. Well, iron is magnetic. Patch of unblossomed flowers growing behind the crystals. Uh, moonlight makes the cave feel colder. Maybe if we put it up there? No? I thought that would have worked. No? There's something fluttering as well. Uh, okay, I'm kind of lost. Nothing to do there. Nothing to do there. Oh, come on. More containing to collect them. I was trying to put that somewhere. And I didn't put it in exactly the right spot. Damn you, game. Okay. Next one, what was it? Eternal sleeping point. Hang on, let's go back. Go back into the kitchen. I'm just trying to remember. Uh, so we need a gold branch, silver web, and a moonflower mixed together. You're still going to say the same thing, aren't you? Maybe I need to use that gingerbread key that I've got. Rather than just, you know, derping around. Hello. 
Two small eggs are encased with a colourful marble spear. No good luck using it there. That's my altar to the goddess. Something's missing from its hands. Yeah, take this axe. That worked? How? What if father's looking at the moon as well? I want to go home. Tiny opening in the middle of the gilded plate. Not maths. I hate maths. That needs to make eight. Which it has. That makes three. That makes two. Um Okay, I th think how does that make eight? Oh four divided by something equals twelve and Okay, that makes three. It's two. Oh, skip. Yeah, I don't care. I can't do. Too small. Okay, let's grab that golden axe then. Apparently maths can change iron into gold. All you mathematicians out there, go do. I find a magnetic object. Laughing. So childish. <laughs> I need to make a knob. <laughs> oh dear. It's a rather fancy knob too. Um right. Gems, gems, gems. We need ah there we go. Is that something? No, it's not. Oh. Very clever hiding it in the flower. Well done, the person that developed this puzzle. Or the designer. Well done. I can clap my hand at you. And I'm finished. Yeah, shut up, Gretel, we'll get to you in a minute. Ah, I see. This is probably where the uh, bottle with strange fluid. Oh, I need to go back into the kitchen again. No. Can we have a magnetic fluid? Maybe I need to go this way. Nope. What I do? Do we need to go talk to the ogre again? Nope. God, that chin. Nothing for me here. I just noticed that skull. What, I need to pour the water bottle in there? Okay. And there's a parable. All parables 
Purple gems are collected. The witch and the goddess. Once upon a time, many millennia ago, a fairy goddess ruled this forest and protected magical inhabitants from creatures of dark magic. The forest kingdom lived in peace and prosperity for centuries thanks to the goddess's alliances and political prowess. That is, until a mighty witch stole the into the forest borders and assumed the appearance of, a fa of the fairy goddess's most trusted advisor. One evening when the fairy goddess was sleeping, the witch poured an emanation potion in the fairy's ear. It's like Hamlet! As the miniature goddess dreamt, her power emanated forth in energy waves that was absorbed into the witch. But the fairy too weak to fight back, the witch locked her away in a secret cave. Now all the witch had to do was secure her ill-one kingdom. She built a gingerbread house in a forest to bait any who dared cross her path. For she could not risk the fairy goddess's rescue, or even a word of her capture reaching the wrong ears. The fairy whispers travel almost undetected by wind, and a few creatures heard the goddess's promise. Whoever sets me free and restore my, restores my power shall earn a golden gift, one that offers immunity to all enchantments. Interesting. So that's how it happened. Right, mush. Lodestone. That is indeed a magnetic object. They're like natural magnets. Somehow this tiny mortar and pestle is going to crush up a thing. That looks like saffron. This should do the trick. No? Where's her wine then? Maybe it's upstairs? She's not noticing the colour. Maybe she's colour blind. Ew, she looks gross. What? What's happening? So sleepy. No. How did That shouldn't have happened. How did she blow her pot into small bits? You know what? I'm not even questioning it. Gretel, you shall be free now. And Hansel. You have saved me and the creatures of the forest from the witch's cruelty. We are in your debt. Thus, I bestow the gift of the golden child upon you. You now have the power to heal magical properties. That means no magic can ever harm you again. And on every silver moon from now until forevermore, a descendant shall inherit this gift. Goodbye, children. Perhaps one day we'll meet again. Right. So Hansel and Gressel returned home in the warm embrace of their father, knowing her plan had failed, the stepmother left and was never seen again. Hansel kept his newfound gift a secret. It wasn't until centuries later when a travelling minstrel witnessed a young golden child perform an act of a of miracle. Who translated who an act of mir of mir of miracle did the tale reach as far as the mountain kingdom? The moon goddess continued to protect the forest as she had done for centuries, allowing the ogres to live in peace as long as they stayed far away from human sight. As for the evil witch, let's just say that won't be the last time we've heard from her. So she's still alive somewhere. Oh no! Plot twist and sequel hook. We have to play the next game, but uh, maybe not for a little while. <laughs> the next game is the Red Riding Hood Sisters, if I remember correctly. Then we'll have caught up and then we can play the Ballad of Rapunzel. So a couple more games to go. So yeah, I'm Page of Maces. I hope you've enjoyed the series. If you want to see more, let me know in the comments. Um, 
if by the time I get round to uh, wanting to record another hidden object game, if I then have better equipment, I will try to live stream it, but I am not making any promises. So for now, TTFN.